So I'm sure as of now, we all know who Call Me Carson is. He's had his fair share of drama within the YouTube community, but as of very recently, he has been exposed for quote unquote grooming a 17 year old when he was 19. Now today, this situation absolutely exploded on the internet. I mean, dude, I'll just be browsing YouTube and I'll see something about Call Me Carson. So chances are, if you've been on the internet today, you've probably seen something about Call Me Carson. I mean, dude, there's meme after meme, video after video of people giving their opinion on the whole situation. So yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and give my input on this. So sit back relax grab your youtube.com and let's get straight into it i got so many diamonds she do it you niggas ain't hard enough put slits in his neck when i fuck them up hit him with uppercuts and i ain't give a fuck Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, XE. Welcome back to another video. So you guys already saw the beginning of the video. Basically, Call Me Carson has been exposed for grooming slash sexting a minor. So unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know who Call Me Carson is. He's a very well-known variety YouTuber, and it's honestly hard to find somebody that doesn't know who he is, or at least hasn't heard of him in any kind of way. And since Carson talking to a 17-year-old sparked a massive flame on the internet, I thought I would go ahead and cover it on the channel. So this all started on the wonderful website we know as Twitter.com, when Keemstar, Star Drama Alert posted a tweet that said, and I quote, Dear Carson, I'm currently editing a hashtag drama alert with allegations that you were sexting your underage fans. So, do you have a statement? Now, this was way before somebody had came out and said that Carson was sexting them. And I'm sure at this point, you know, everybody knows that Keemstar does not have the best internet reputation, so people were quick to get angry at him because, you know, there was no evidence supporting him. This was, of course, until somebody who goes by the name of Mini Borb came out and said that she had been personally groomed by Carson. And this included many screenshots on where Carson was quote unquote grooming her. Now, honestly, I don't think grooming is the right word to use, which is why throughout this video, I've leaned towards more of the use of the word sexting rather than grooming. And grooming is defined as someone trying to manipulate, exploit, or abuse someone after building a relationship with that person. Now, honestly, I'm going to try and see it from the perspective that believed that Carson was grooming her. But I mean, after looking at these screenshots I'm going to show later in the video, it's honestly a big ass thread to believe that Carson is grooming her rather than sexting her. But of course, we're going to take a look at it. Now, I'm not siding with Carson because I honestly believe what he did was wrong, but I just wanted to get out of the way that I believe it was not grooming. But anyway, she left a lot of screenshots in the reply to that tweet, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. I'm scared I want to talk to you for the wrong reasons. Elaborate. What if I only want to talk to you for the sexual part of it? I don't want that, but like, I'm worried about it. What if subconsciously I'm only talking to you because it turns me on or something? Damn, this is like some deep ass shit. Holy crap. My man's already talking about the subconscious, but like, I'm gonna be honest, if this guy is already talking about wanting her for the sexual part, like subconsciously, it's quite obvious that's what he wants. Uh, what if we react on Snap and next time you're horny we have some fun again? I just don't want that to be the only thing we do, you know? Yeah, but F Sam. You're hard to resist. So are you. I feel like this is my fault, damn. If anything, it's my fault because I can't control myself. Now, the big problem with this, and I don't want to hate on either of them, but Sam could have easily stopped talking to him. It's called a block button. Now, honestly, when I look at these messages, from my perspective, it looks like that Sam was looking for male validation. Now, I still fully believe that Carson should have stopped talking to Sam, but when a guy gets attention from a girl, he starts liking her. In most cases, that is. I mean, I've been down this road myself, of course, with girls my age. And honestly, when a girl starts talking to me and she's somewhat likable and she gives me attention, I still start to like that girl and that's just how some guys are so of course we got to hold Carson accountable but we could cut him a little bit of slack for this reason is that really what you want what other options are there also, what would you want to happen? I don't know. All I know is every time I jack off now, <laughs> I'm sorry. All I know is every time I jack off now, I have a really hard time not thinking about you. I guess my brain got stimulated and now it wants more, you know? Sorry, I was in school, but yeah, I get that. Now, it's not hard to believe that Carson is saying some pretty creepy ass shit, but it's honestly kind of annoying to me because this girl is agreeing with him. And if she claims to be groomed by Carson, then honestly, she should have stopped talking to him way before now. I mean, let's be honest, it's really not that hard to see what Carson is intending with within these texts. I mean, he's horny. It's as simple as that, he's horny. So for them to further talk with each other is honestly a mistake on both of their ends. Effing hell, I want to, but it's a bad idea. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared of getting your hopes up or something. I'm willing to try, but it's such a bad idea. But so is sexting you. Now, honestly, this is where Carson made his mistake. At that point, he knew what he was doing was wrong. He should have stopped and that should have been the end of it. We should add back on Snap. What do you think? Sounds good to me, but like I said, I don't want it to be just sexual, you know? I wouldn't mind calling and watching shit together or play something you feel. Yeah, I feel you.
Just hit me up next time, you horny. Bro, what the hell was this man thinking? Just take everything she said and chuck that shit out the window. Dude, Carson could have avoided this in so many ways. But now it's just so hard to see where he's coming from. Like, seriously, dude. Alright, so honestly, I think I've dedicated enough of this video to the screenshots. But I mean, after reading those screenshots, it's quite obvious that Carson is in the wrong. Like, I hate to say it. Like, I don't know, man. Let's just let's just not sext people who are underage. Like, let, let's not do that. I don't condone that whatsoever, guys. Now, one thing I wanted to go ahead and address that some people are treating it like Carson is like a 40 year old man. No, I mean, this man was 19 at the time when he was talking to Sam. And it's kind of just crazy how much people are like blowing this out of proportion. If like two years, it's it's honestly not that big. I mean, for example, that would be a sophomore dating a senior or a freshman dating a junior. And I'm currently in high school and I see this shit all the time. It's like, is this really that bad? Now, what would be really bad, which has not been proven yet, is if they sent sexual pictures to each other. Now, I don't think I should have to tell you guys this, but that is in fact illegal. And so is grooming and targeting a minor for sexual action. Now, Slime Sicole, another well-known YouTuber, actually came out and gave his response to the Carson situation. Here's what he had to say. Recently, two former Lunch Club members publicly alleged that Carson had been engaged in illegal activity with minors. To be clear, targeting a minor for grooming, sexting, and other inappropriate or unwanted sexual advances is illegal and particularly disgusting if the person doing it is a YouTuber who has taken advantage of their fame to exploit young fans. My heart goes out to all those who have been victims. I'm sorry you went through all that and encourage you to tell somebody about it and get the help that you need. In an early 2020 phone call, Carson told all the lunch club members and our group manager that he had exchanged nudes with an unnamed girl he believed to be 17. Because I suspected a crime had been committed, I immediately reported this information to federal law enforcement, cut all ties to Carson, and withdrew immediately from lunch club. Although the lunch club manager had asked about a final March drop or a goodbye video or refuse these because I no longer wanted to be associated with Carson or Lunch Club. For all those asking why I did not speak publicly about these issues at the time, this is not a drama. This is an alleged federal felony involving a child. As soon as I knew about this, I took every step to protect the unnamed victim and report the information I had to authorities. A crime should be treated as a crime. If you or any loved one is ever in a sim similar situation, I strongly encourage you to take similar actions and report it to relevant authorities. No person should ever have to be the victim of something like this. I just wanted to go ahead and make it very clear that that was Slime Sicole writing that, not me, and that all credit goes to him when it comes to that part of the video. And I also just wanted to go ahead and give heavy props to Slime Sicole for being very, very mature about the situation, instead of course about speaking out about it. So I was going to end out the video here, but it seems that Carson has actually responded, and it seems that he's actually came clean about trading nudes with people that are under the age of 18. He does say in this screenshot, and I quote, but I did trade nudes with people under the age of 18, which is very bad. And then he also says, and I quote, I was 19. Now, of course, I can respect Carson for coming clean, but on Honestly, it's still screwed up what he did. I mean, guys, it's quite obvious. How about let's not exchange nudes from freaking minors, dude? He also confirms that the screenshots were real. And then finally, to top it off, he says, Long story short, when I was 19, I sexted a couple of viewers that were 17. Extremely regrettable and incredibly embarrassing. Felt guilty since. Apologized to them both and resolved it privately last year. Then Keemstar got a hold of it like two days ago. And now off of that, we know that there were two 17-year-olds that he sexted. That just makes it worse, honestly. And I mean, he did state how he apologized to both of the people he sexted privately, but if that was the case, why did Sam come out and expose him publicly? I honestly find this part hard to grasp because if they accepted the apology, then I don't really see why there would be a problem now, two years later. But I mean, hey, you know, I can respect him for the apology. I can respect him for him coming clean. But guys, I just wanted to come out and say one more time, I, I know it's kind of excessive. I'm sorry, but it is not okay to sex people who are minors if you are not of age. I mean, I know the 17 to 19 age gap is not a very big age gap, but dude, it's just not okay to sex minors. It's not okay to trade nudes in that way. Way. So yeah, I think that's where we're gonna end the video. It's honestly just a huge shock that we're starting out the year with this big of controversy. But I mean, hey, I hate to see that the accusations are true because I watched Call Me Carson and I enjoyed his content. But yeah, if you guys did make it to this part of the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe with post notifications on. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. Peace. <laughs>